Hello everyone, I'm Dilip Mohanan. I'm currently a speech therapist in Neurogen Brain and Spine Institute, Navi Mumbai. I'm here to talk about use of speech assistive devices in ALS and MND populations. So moving on to what are speech sound disorders? Speech sound disorders are caused by various factors. Some are caused by functional factors, some are caused by neurological factors, some are caused by structural, some are caused by sensory and perceptual. So here what we are going to mainly focus is uh, uh, speech sound disorders caused by neurological disorder. So why is speech so important for uh, every human being? It helps us to identify ourselves. So communicate our daily needs, our expressing our discomfort if any and if there is any issue for emergency we can able to express that and conveying their feelings to someone and for the socialization mainly. So if these factors are absent in the uh, they can't able to express in an MND population what can be the alternative options which can be used. So some are community uh, communication support strategies so they are speaking strategies so that are uh, kind of uh, using sign language and using uh, speech adequacy speech training things and conversation strategies involving uh, communication partner training and non-verbal strategies that involves the once again the sign language and AAC system. So wh what we today focus on is mainly into AAC systems that is low-tech AAC and high-tech AACs. Uh, main low-tech AAC is a communication board. So communication board is something where any human beings can express their needs non-verbally through just by pointing out the pictures. So the uh, the cost of making the communication board is not so much. It, anybody can make the communication board easily. Just take out the printout of uh, communication boards which is available online and then just use any pencil or a ruler just to point to it. And then they can able to communicate their needs. This communication boards has uh, different types of uh, uh, magnification devices that is involving uh, kind of uh, pictures or symbols. So whatever the needs of the patient, they can choose from that. So moving on to high-tech AAC. What is mean by high-tech AAC? High-tech AACs are battery operated devices, mainly involved without any, uh, without any uh, device support, they can't able to function. So high-tech AACs are nowadays used by most of the people just to, because it has a voice output, unlike compared to a low-tech AACs. That's the main advantage of high-tech AAC. So first we are going to see about a high-tech AAC known as Light Writer. This is, uh, it will be costing around 10,000 in price, which is available uh, in India also by India Mart. So in Light Writer, what is the, uh, how is, does the Light Writer function as just by typing, the patient can express his basic needs. So for example, if he wants to drink water, drink water, if he is able to type, this Light Writer can able to produce uh, type visually as well as it can also produce through a voice but the voice production the voice production happens only in the advanced stage of light writer devices more uh, moving on to the core vocabulary displays core vocabulary displays is same like communication boards like low type communication boards and core vocabulary displays may uh, the patient's main involved vocabularies are being selected for example drinking water uh, washroom all these kind of a main vocabulary which he needs for his daily communication that is being given in the uh, core vocabulary displays moving on to the speech generating devices there are a lot of speech generating devices available online and also available through dealers from india mart and uh, so what are speech generating devices same like light writer any uh, but light writer the patient has to type it but in speech generating devices the patient just has to point it and the, while pointing the device can able to generate the voice and moving on to AAC applications so these are some AAC applications which you can be used uh, which is also a speech generating devices so if using this speech generating devices applications can help individuals in, with MND or ALS to function for their daily communication needs so some more Seaboard, uh, Lil Requester, TouchChat. So like these applications are available free of cost. Some are available with, uh, you have to, the payable apps are also available. It depends which, depending on the patient needs, which they wanted to go. Moving on to the uh, 
people who has a challenges more challenges uh, that is physically so when people has a weakness in arms or muscle muscular atrophy uh, if their uh, fine motor skills are affected they can't able to coordinate their muscular movements what type of ac devices can be given as laser operated head mouse where they can use a laser operated head mouse motor on the on their head where it projects into the uh, computer laptops or even uh, nowadays they can able to project on the ipads as well so using this the uh, the communication a person communicating person can able to express his basic needs for the communication and next is i guess communication device uh, that is uh, that is usually you would have seen in i uh, toby i guess devices right now available uh, in the market same so this is kind of a less expensive i guess devices which is available so patient pop uh, the people has to point towards the desired item they wanted to choose and depending on their eye gaze movements the required item is being selected and next is foot operated communication uh, communication device so here uh, not much of option is available for a uh, uh, for the patient here they have only limited options with, uh, whether yes and no okay no like this of limited option where two buttons will be given so they have to just express their communication needs and next is foot mouse using the foot mouse they can able to communicate uh, in the computer using the computer applications or they can able to operate the ipads as well and next is <coughs> speech synthesizer so speech synthesizer is same like light writer so here just the patients are uh, just the gestures are just needed to produce the speech moving on to the head mouse in detail head mouse is something the patient using the uh, the head mouse is being mounted in front of the patient so here uh, the beam from patient's head will able to operate and uh, can able to operate the device which is in front of him so using this the patient can able to communicate his daily needs next is moving on to eye tracking technology so eye tracking technology has been evolving right now in the market so one such device is toby eye gaze device so using this toby eye gaze device the eye gaze movements are just needed to operate any monitor either the com computer monitor or a laptop monitor they can able to express their needs nowadays uh, the toby eye gaze has been uh, used even in ipads as well they can able to control the ipad applications as well so this how's the this is how the uh, toby i guess communication works eye tracking is a technology that is used to see where a person is looking on a computer screen the technology can also be used to control a computer instead of using a traditional keyboard and mouse so, you control it by using your eyes this is the video the eye from the toby i guess infrared box. light that is reflected by your eyes a camera registers these reflections and through filtering and advanced calculations we can determine where on the screen you are looking and then place the computer cursor consistently and accurately toby dynavox eye trackers are unique in that they dynamically switch between bright and dark pupil tracking so you'll always have an optimized eye tracking experience there are many other things that make toby dynavox eye trackers unique to learn more please visit tobydynavox.com next is tap strap moving on to the tap strap tap strap is a device where uh, kind of a hand grip control is just needed to operate the computer monitor so using the hand trap uh, patients can able to operate the even the laptop monitors as well as computer monitors can we can see a video of tap strap now
So these are the devices ranging from low tech, mid tech to high tech communication. So depending on the patient needs, we can able to choose between low tech or the mid tech or the high tech. And it also varies depending on the socio-economic conditions of the people. Next is a blink to speak world's first eye language. So this is the eye language being done for, by the Asha Echo along with Neurogen. So using this eye gaze communication, a person can able to communicate his basic needs with the communication partner. For this, the communication partner should also have learned the blink to speak language as well as the communication uh, initiator has also been trained in this. So let's see some videos regarding blink to speak. The biggest battle for patients suffering from fatal disorders like ALS, MNDs and spinal cord injuries is the simple act of communication. For these patients and their families, the basic methods of communication are very tedious, and the high-tech assistive tools, unaffordable. Eyes are the only part of their bodies that don't betray them till the very end. So we created Blink to Speak, the world's first eye language by Asha A. Cope Foundation and Noor Jin Hospital. With 50 simple eye movements, patients can express all their needs and desires. The eye language has eight alphabets. Using multiple easy combinations of these alphabets, patients can say, yes, no, I'm not okay. And some important messages like, call the doctor, danger, entertainment, and I love you. The book is available for free on the Blink to Speak, Asha Aik Hope and Nurjin websites. Blink to Speak is an amazing innovation which will not just help our patients but help patients all over the world. Nurjin Hospital also conducts free training sessions for patients, caregivers and their staff. It has been discussed, applauded and shared and also endorsed by the International Association of ALS and ALS India. Blink to Speak has given a new hope to patients, their families, and doctors. Blink uh, to speak is going to break all the barriers of communication and set people free from all the limits of barriers. One, two, three, yes. Blink to speak, the world's first eye language. Next is look to speak. Look to Speak is a freely available application which is available in, applica uh, in the Android platforms. So using this applications, we can able to control the mobile applications as well as uh, as well as the mobile uh, using this Look to Speak, we can able to uh, communicate with the communication partner. They can able to generate a phrase as well as a simple sentences using the application and let's move on to the next one so these are some uh, i can do app screens which can able to operate the devices next is brain computer interface so brain computer interface is still in research that is uh, where artificial intelligence is being come into work where here uh, the brain uh, the brain function is just needed the brain's uh, stimulation is just taken for the uh, for operating for uh, the basic communication needs so next is moving on to message banking so message banking is something where a person can able to record in a microphone using a microphone uh, and a voice recorder uh, message banking is something where a person can able to record his voice which and uh, record some messages which can be used for the future purposes moving on to the voice cloning voice cloning is a technology that uses ai uh, that allows us to digitize store and it and can be used forever so voice cloning is something where a person's voice is just enough to create their own sentences for example uh, just a voice sample is enough to create her own utterances of their uh, speech. So, for example, we can see a video of it. My mom, my mom is the best mom. She loves me a lot and I love her a lot too. She teaches me so many things. Heaven. Heaven. And reads me lots. 
lots of stories. He tied them to the chain on the chariot and pulled them. is my best friend. Bye, Mama! Tara, don't forget your umbrella. It's going to rain today. Thank you, Mama. Mama is not feeling good these days. She can't speak to me anymore. But she still reads me stories. I shall bite you with my white teeth, replied the mouse. And helps me with my homework. Hi, Mama. How many sides are in a hexagon? Tara, a hexagon has six sides. She left her voice everywhere I am. Hi, Mama. How do we make halwa? Now, add some almonds and cashews. Hi, Mama. Start the washing machine. Hi, Mama. Can I watch my cartoons? Yes, Tara. Good night, Tara. I love my mama very much because she's always there for me, even when she can't. Hi, Tara. I love you, Tara. I love you so much. Is it going to rain today? Yes, Tara. Don't forget your umbrella. Thank you, Mama. Love you, Tara. I'll be presenting a video of it below. So, considerations for speech technology are depending on patient oriented as well as tech oriented it depends on the patient's needs as well as the tech needs how educated they are everything matters thank you